Yes, okay, today's gonna be a good day. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady and welcome to my channel. Okay, well today we are keeping it local. We are at the Hampton Township Goodwill. Um, I haven't historically had very good luck here, but the last time I was here, I had extremely good luck. So that has brought us back and we're gonna head in and see what we can find to buy and flip our profit. Here we go. It's a little terrifying, isn't it? <laughs> I feel like he needs pupils. Maybe just stick some googly eyes in there or something. There's a sweet little puppy dog in a cup. I guess it's just a decorative piece. It's only $3.99. Handcrafted in the Kingdom of Thailand from Mandalay Box Company. And I would say that's worth more than $3.99. There is a baggie full of shells and a butterfly made out of paper. Quite a bit of brass. I like that one, but I don't see very high resale value on it. Oh look, there's the friend. Oh, we have a rooster and a chicken. We can be friends in my cart. What is this? Oh my, I like that. $6.99. Look at the cute little handles on there. <laughs> there's no chips and cracks on it either. Yes, okay. Today's going to be a good day. There's a bag of bumblebees, as opposed to our bag of butterflies. <laughs> I was here the other day when we were here. Dog dish. Oh, here's a cute little... There's a puppy dog. <laughs> He's made from resin. I like his wings. There's Fancy Santa. I, think, I feel like we've looked at him, but I, it was at a different goodwill, so... Um, he must get around, I guess. That is a pretty platter down there. I wonder if it's Italian or China. Yep, it's China. I think it's made to look Italian, but it's actually made in China. I just really love the colors of it. Here is a Bailey's cup. Um, this one is for Los Angeles Youth Network. Uh, I've never knew before. I thought they were all the same, but there's different faces and different faces have different values And I'm not exactly sure which ones are more valuable versus which ones are not, but this is only a dollar ninety-nine And I feel like at a buck ninety-nine We'll stick it in our cart It looks like it's got some age to it uh, I can see there's some crazing. I don't know if that's a crack or just a line of crazing but it's $4.99. I think if it wasn't, I don't know, that that crack. Nah, I think I'm gonna leave it. What is this? This is dishwasher safe made in China. Kinda like the looks of this little guy, but unfortunately there is no lid for that. These have really bright gold on them. I don't see a price though. And what are these over here? That's more of the same set. It's a 50th anniversary set. So that's a shoe, shoe thing. Creature. My goodness. <laughs> Four ninety nine. I kind of like him. He's made of a resin material. I don't know. He's just got kind of an endearing face. Pick him up for four ninety nine. If you're curious, they are still here. I guess nobody thought that twenty dollars was a good deal. <laughs> gonna point them out every time I come here until unfortunately they're probably gonna end up at the bins. That looks to be vintage. $1.99. It was it's definitely not as exciting as the cast iron we found the last time we were here. There are some more, I guess those are roosters. Somebody must have donated their collection is what I'm thinking. A table lighter, um, it's silver plate. You can see all the tarnish on that. What are these things down here? It looks kind of like a shaker. What are those? There's two of them. Oh, they are. Okay, so one is for pepper. 
And one is for salt. There's marking on there too. What does this say? Made in China. They're made in China, but they're really neat. What is the price? $3.99. And uh, there's nice stickers on one, so I'm assuming. Oh wait, no, there's a sticker on the other one. My hand's just covering it. So they're $3.99 each. That one's broken though, it looks like. That's the issue. This one's broken, so I'm gonna leave them. Here, crackle glass there, $2.99. I love the color of that. I, I'm not feeling Blanco on that, but I do love the color, so I'll pick that one up. Oh, here is another chicken. <laughs> this one is Block Country Farm by Gear. Um, 1995. He's got a little bit of chipping, though, on his tail. And there is really fun, those fish, but I have no use for them. And I feel like they'd be kind of a pain to ship. So are made in England, maybe? I think that's the onion pattern. Sheffield home. Deja vu, we looked at that the last time. Here is some blue willow. That one is Shenango, China. That one looks like it has a little bit more age. This one is made in Japan. You can see the cracking around the edges though. It's kind of funny, I'm in an aisle and there's no other people around, but there are carts just hanging out here. <laughs> oh, that looks like Japan, yeah. Made in Japan. It was made to look like an old Staffordshire figurine, but the quality is just not quite there. Dagny had picked up a rose once while we were at Goodwill that was uh, coated in gold. This one looks like a rose coated in silver, so I'm going to give that one a shot. Maybe, if I can get it in the cart. <laughs> I was noticing these from the other end of the row. These are hostess wear. They seem to be in relatively good condition. The grease is a little bit more harder to come by because the grease catch would rust. Um, but we have flour, sugar, and tea here. They're in relatively good condition. $3.99, $2.99, $1.99. What is canister set? What is that thing? <laughs> She's a homemade doll. A few, a few visits ago, I found a really cool carved wooden dog here in the toy section, so uh, I figured I would at least peek and see if anything was hiding over here, but I'm not seeing a whole bunch. Here is what we have as far as artwork goes. Looks about the same collection as last time. Not very exciting that creamer back there. There's some copper luster on that. I wonder if it's Sadler. I'm not sure. I'm not going to peel this sticker though. Um, these creamers are usually worth like 8 to 12. But I don't think I'm going to mess with it today. And here we are in the clear section. I like the holder on that. It's pretty. I don't see any markings or anything on it. And it feels really light. So I'm going to assume it's probably made from aluminum. It's like a Mara mug. Yes, it is. Made in Mexico. $2.99. Sweet. It's exciting. <laughs> it's been a while since I found a Mara mug out in the wild. Oh, roadie. Oh, my goodness. That's funny. I lived there once. $2.99 in socket. I don't see where I lived, though. East Greenwich. <laughs> it's not there. Got Newport on there. Little roadie. That's a fun mug. How much is that? $2.99. We'll pick it up for nostalgia's sake. I was noticing just now as I put that mug in there that we do have a dent there on the bottom of this canister. Um, there's usually almost always some sort of dent on them, so I don't want to split up the set. I'll just take them all. The other ones don't seem to have very much denting. Okay, well let's move into the holiday section. Uh, that's where I just found that Mara mug. I happened to turn around and it was sitting on the shelf, but... Maybe there was a set of them. Wouldn't that be delightful? Probably not going to happen, though. <laughs> there is a... Is that glass? 
No, it's plastic, okay. That it was a glass ornament. I was like, you know what? We should rescue that from the baggie, but no. A fun canister. Oh, it's made out of resin. I don't see any markings. $4.99. The box it's in is kind of nondescript. There's no markings or signatures on it. It's probably made in China. This flower arrangement is still here. <laughs> if it wasn't so dirty, I would probably buy it, but it's just really dirty, and I'm not sure how you would clean that. There is one of those t blue sky tea lights, but unfortunately we are missing the plate that goes underneath it. I don't think we'll get as lucky as we did the other day with the pear house. This egg cup was hanging out here on the end of the aisle, $1.99. <laughs> kind of reminded me of Wedgwood, but it is made in China and there's only one of them. If there was more, maybe I would consider it. There's not much I could do with a single egg cup. A plate, Italian, yeah, Italy, $4.99 for a single plate though. Ooh, that scared me. It's <laughs> right open. Wendell August Forge. Personal grand page to the grand organist. Huh. It's a shell dish. $1.99. Wendell August Forge is a pretty good name. So we'll take that with us. That is a leaf dish. <laughs> I usually pick these up, but I think today I'm going to leave it. Here is a pretty set that I totally missed. Hmm, is it made in China? I feel like it's made in China I'm trying to look like it's made in England. We're gonna peel the sticker and check. Looks like somebody already did. It says, antique. Oh, you know, if they call it antique, um, it's usually not a good sign. <laughs> Let's see. Antique reflections. Oh, you guys can't even see it. Antique reflections, so. Um, we're reflecting on antiques, and we're not actually antique. Okay, well, I've done the shelves a few times, and there's no sign that they're going to be restocking. So I think I'm going to take this stuff up to the checkout, and I will get back to you guys in the car. Okay, well, our total spend there at the Hamden Township Goodwill was $50, and I'm pleased with everything we got. Um, I've noticed that if I keep my expectations low, I can be surprised and I was definitely surprised with what we got today. So I am now here at the Lemoyne Goodwill which is like 10 minutes down the road and we're gonna head in and see what we can find. Here we go. Okay well let's see what we can find today. Ooh, there's a big piece of glass made in China. <laughs> oh my gosh look at this zebra. Hmm. Nice wooden box. Obviously, somebody handmade that for $4.99. It's uh, missing its clasp, though. That's a print. It's not actually um, stitched. What is this? Recipes. That's kind of weird. It's reverse painted. <laughs> I had to do a double take on that one. Me decoupaged a bird on that wooden egg. Look at the carving. What is this guy doing? He's fancy. He's not. He's got like not just one pedestal, but he's got like seven pedestals. <laughs> Brim trophy. I guess he's a lasso trophy or something. Rodeo trophy. <laughs> hooks it just snacks it oh I love these things it's a shame they're not worth more because they are so cool I find them in the original box all the time that appears to be just a hobbyist piece <laughs> it's 
sell it for $2.99. What is that back there? Oh, it's pretty chipped up. Okay, this looks like anthropology, right? Possibly, yeah, anthropology. Unfortunately, there is a chip on it. These are kind of nice as well. What are those? <laughs> They're fault scrap. Of course they are. This one down here. Oh, that's the pasta one that goes with it. We should put them all up on the top shelf, right? Pretty sure that's... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Andrea. Here is another one. It looks like the whole set is here. Mary Tigrin. Hmm. Well, I had to look this up because I didn't want to regret leaving it behind. And uh, we're scrolling through here. I don't see any of the. Oh, there's a canister sold for $28. And one for $40, but that was free shipping. $20, yeah. I just don't think it's worth it for the hassle of shipping them. Those bowls are pretty. Gourmet Basics by Mikasa. I don't know, I'm not really finding a whole lot today. Oh, I did stick this in my, my cart because I thought it was cute, but I'll probably end up putting it back. Carrot Patch Cottage. Yeah. Maybe I won't put it back. It looks like it sells for about 30 bucks. So, all right, you can stay in my cart, little guy. Be nice to find another one of those. I don't think we're going to have any luck. What is this? <laughs> it's, a, it's a llama. It's fused glass, but it's just some sort of decorative piece. Silver, silver bullet day. Hmm. This kind of match that glass I got the other day. They look like they have some age to them. They're $2.99. I'm almost wondering if they're uh, berry bowls missing the master and there's really two left. Little bunny. <laughs> this is made from Capiz shell. $2.99. The last time I picked up a bowl made out of uh, these shells though, it didn't really do very well. So. That's why I think I'm going to leave that behind. <laughs> Easter duck. Another decoupaged egg. What's inside? Just envelopes. <laughs> Here is Snow White. She's a chip on her nose and her arm though. And she's missing her friends. Mallow. I think that if the entire set was here, these might be worth picking up, but only for two of them. I don't know about that. What is that down there? That's just artwork. <laughs> That's pretty dirty. Sterling, China, Ohio. I like the lighthouse on that. Since somebody had on that $2.99. I think that might be that sweet grass. Somebody glued a giant glob on there though. You guys let me know in the comments though, because I think that the sweet grass is a lighter um, color, so but for only $2.99. $4.99 for this dog figurine. He seems to be in pretty decent condition though. Look, I got dust on me now from the ashtray. <laughs> Um, I don't know that $4.99. Feels like $1.99 or $2.99. The other piece I noticed was over here. Oh look, <laughs> his foot was glued back on. I found this giraffe. Oh, he's got damage to his foot. Goodness gracious, I'm not having very much luck today, am I? Is that thing? 
shapes like an egg and I can't grip it to turn it. All right, I'm gonna have to turn the camera off. Is Temptations. I can't tell if that's a crack or freezing on the bottom there. There's a line that goes across it. Okay, well we're gonna search the artwork real quick. And then I think we're gonna maybe get out of here. That's kind of fun. Oh, is it really long? It is really long. <laughs> Put this one down here, maybe. I don't think that this is an original artwork. It's marked Kate Rowley. I think I'm gonna leave it. These candlestick holders have a bit of a mid-century lines. To them and they're actually weighted they have metal there at the bottom to keep them standing they're only 99 cents each and, uh, I'm gonna grab those there we go we have a few things in the cart <laughs> but we're gonna head up now oh my gosh does this bring back memories of sledding at my grandparents in upstate New York <laughs> me and my cousins used to get on one of these and go down the back hill and I was always covered in briars and thorns, and we'd get all, all tore up on the way down. But it was so much fun. It was worth it. <laughs> Look at that. Gloversville, New York. I almost wonder if it was the exact same type that we, that we adventured on. That's too fun. Our total spend there was $11. And we didn't get a whole lot. We just got a few things. But considering it was $11 and that gnome mug is worth about $30, I think we're in good shape. Everything else is just gonna be gravy. So I'm gonna get out of here now. We're probably gonna head down the road to Antiques Marketplace of Le Moyne, but you guys are gonna have to wait for that video and I will see all of you tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.